Registered Phenomena Code 979 Object Class Beta Red Hazard Types Grouped Organic Sentient Toxic Containment Protocols Currently, three RPC-979 instances are to be contained in a standard 6m x 6m x 6m anomalous fauna containment chamber at Site-279. Feeding sessions are to be completed at 12 p.m. each day, by dropping seven live mus musculus into the chamber through a sliding door located on the chamber ceiling. MST Tango-17 Peter Parkers, is tasked with the location and eradication of uncontained RPC-979 instances. Tango-17 is to locate RPC-979 nests and destroy them using flamethrowers. Civilians claiming to have seen RPC-979 are to be administered Class A amnestics. Authority Webcrawler 437452 is to detect posts on social media sites and search results suspected to be of a nature regarding RPC-979. Personnel are to manually delete confirmed RPC-979-related findings. Relatives or parents of expired RPC-979 victims are to be administered Class C amnestics to make them forget that the victims existed. All records of the victims are to be wiped. Surviving RPC-979 victims are to be administered Class A amnestics. In the event of a containment breach, ASF operatives are to coax RPC-979 instances back into their containment chamber by shepherding them with flames. Any operatives bitten by instances are to be taken to the on-site medical bay and treated. Any questions regarding RPC-979 are to be directed to Cody Palanez. Description: RPC-979 is a previously unidentified species of spider, genetically and physically similar to the Letrodectus geometricus. The average length of RPC-979 instances is 120 cm from mouth to anus, with the largest recorded adult instance being 150 cm and the smallest being 90 cm. RPC-979 instances exoskeletons are light brown in coloration, closely resembling the average skin tone of Caucasian humans. RPC-979 has six eyes, but rely on touch and vibration to see. RPC-979 are native to East Asia, and have been found in China, Japan, South Korea, and North Korea. The most noticeable feature of RPC-979 is that each instance has the face of a human child of unidentifiable sex located on its abdomen. This face is capable of movement and expression due to muscles in RPC-979's abdomen. Through unknown means, RPC-979 instances are able to speak and move the mouth on its abdomen's face while doing so. RPC-979 instances have what are similar in shape to human hands located on the end of their hind legs. RPC-979 are carnivorous, and mostly prey on human children, but will eat other animals such as squirrels and birds if desperate. RPC-979 instances use a unique method of hunting to capture human children, which involves the following. RPC-979 will stand on its front legs, so that their abdomen faces forward. They will use their hind legs as arms, using the hands located on their hind legs to grab and pick up objects. Instances will wear appropriately sized children's clothing gathered from previous victims to blend in more effectively. They will create makeshift hair out of other animals' fur, stuck together using their saliva. The hair will then be placed on the end of their abdomen. Their other appendages will be hidden under the aforementioned clothes. RPC-979 specimens will seek out small towns and cities, and make a nest in a secluded area. They will then alter themselves in the way mentioned above and head towards the nearest elementary school. They will stay around the outskirts of the school, but will also attempt to gain the trust of a student. RPC-979 instances appear to be telepathic, and use said ability to determine the interest of their victims. They will use this knowledge to manipulate their victims, and cultivate trust. After an RPC-979 instance has gained a child's complete trust, it will wait for on average three weeks. After this period of time, it will direct the child to follow them, and lead them to its nest. There, it will inject them with a powerful neurotoxin by biting them, paralyzing them in the process. They will then be wrapped in silk to prevent them from moving, 
and used as a food source until they have been completely consumed. Addendum 979.1 Request from Junior Researcher Dwight Newman RPC-979 Anesthetization Stop Request Requesting Personnel Junior Researcher Dwight Newman Residing Site Site 279 Site Director Dr. Joseph Orkins Data Request June 7, 2014 Required Funding Not Applicable Required Materials Not Applicable Overview This whole situation with RPC-979 is pretty unnerving. The whole spiders eating kids schism really gets under my skin. And not to mention the things trick the kids into trusting them, just to eat them alive while they can't move. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I wanted to talk about is the first two lines of paragraph 4 in the containment protocols. Look at this. Relatives or parents of expired RPC-979 victims are to be administered Class C amnestics, to make them forget that the victims had existed. All records of the victims having been real people are to be wiped. I have to say, this is going a bit too far. Not only are their kids' parents being made to totally forget that their kid ever existed, but then all traces of them are being scrubbed off like a speck of dirt. I don't care how, but this shit needs to stop. As well as this, there's the huge effort of wiping the earth clean of all proof of existence of a person. It's a huge waste of resources and takes an unnecessary amount of time. Even as a researcher working at the authority of all places, I find this completely unacceptable. Find an alternative as soon as possible. Dwight Newman